Morning everyone. Uh, it's Wednesday today. Just running back from the school drop-off. Obviously, as you can see, it is freezing today. That's great the ice off the windscreen this morning. And it is real chilly. Uh, what are we at? Zero. Yeah, zero minus one. It's warmed up a little bit. The sun's just popped up. Hope you are good. Hope you enjoyed yesterday's video. Um, we've got the weird little black ring again on the video, I noticed. I don't know why. No settings have changed. Um, we did have a computer update over the weekend. Like a Windows update, as they call it. So I don't know whether that's affected anything, but I will try and check the settings again later on and hopefully we won't have a uh, small screen. But apologies about that, is what it is. I don't know why it does it. It does it every now and again, it just does. Um, but yes, it's a Wednesday today. We've got a Peugeot 107 booked in. She's having front speakers, rear speakers. The six by nines that she has aren't very good ones. They've been fitted in a standard fiber shelf. The shelf has collapsed and everything's just come unplugged and it's a bit terrible. So we've got to build her a stealth shelf today, add speakers front and back, kind of make it, make sure it's all kind of fitted, done properly, wired correctly, safe and, you know, not folding in the middle. Uh, we've ordered car parts. So hopefully within the next couple of days, I should get the Lotus studs because we've got to get on and do that turbo ready for the uh, next weekend, or next weekend, the weekend after. Um, I've also got to clean the chaser inside and out and give it a polish. And I've got to get the Z3 started, finished, somewhere in the middle, a lot to do. Many, many jobs, not much time. God, it's freezing. My hands have gone really cold. Um, but we're on our way in. I haven't had breakfast yet. We might do some breakfast. Not what to go for today. I had a McDonald's over the weekend and I tell you what, it was absolutely disgusting. You couldn't even call it food, it was that bad. If I get time, I will go over and speak to a manager about the food that we had, because it was vile. Real cold. Wifey's burger was in like four pieces where it just, it looked like somebody had dropped it and then kicked it around the, uh, the floor. Um, we were sat in drive through for probably about five minutes waiting. I thought we were waiting for apple pies to be cooked, but apple pies came out first along with the Happy Meals and then everything else was just like, yeah, like five minutes later and by that point everything was freezing cold. Complete waste of money. But I'm going to enjoy this traffic, not, not bore you with the details. I'm going to get to work. I'll come back to you when the cars are in. Uh, well, yeah, we've got busy week coming up. Busy, busy week. Lots of orders coming in as well. Lots of stock. So I'll see you in a bit, everyone. Happy Wednesday, my dudes and dudettes. 1934 on the subscribers. Well done. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. got a first one in we've got Peugeot 107 little go-kart standard edge unit we've got to upgrade the front speakers because they're trashed um, we've got to rebuild a shelf to go in the back that's a little bit more solid than the fabric thing that was in there and we've got to fit some six by nines in it run some cable down the side remove all of this crap wire it to the edge unit properly Happy days. Right, I'll come back to you in a bit as soon as we've started this one. See you in a bit. 80s love songs, can't beat it, eh? <laughs> so, um, 107, we're cracking on. Front speakers are done. We've got the kickers in. They're just in there, and I've trimmed back the covers to make them kind of go in and, you know, be all lovely. Uh, we're just working on the shelf. Now, normally people bring me the shelves and I can replicate them. Um, but with this one, it was snapped in half and I think she's already binned it. So, I've murdered a cardboard box. Let's just open up the tailgate. And we have 
our shelf. So the easiest way to do this and tell you about it is kind of start by doing the sides. This one's a bit more tricky because obviously that one's straight and then this one curves out to allow for the, the boot light and the pin for the tailgate. So you figure that, that space out first with the seats down, then you figure out your kind of final end, how far it goes in that way. And then you'll basically be copying the back of this. Makes it a little bit more harder because I've got my wiper motor, which I've then got to account for as well. But as you can see, that sits in there pretty well. Looks nice and big, strong. That's our starting shelf. So I will now cut wood that shape We'll try it in the car and test fit it. I will probably still have to because cardboard is a bit more malleable than wood and I'll probably have to just adjust the edges a little bit just to get the wood to sit in and fit flat. Then we'll brace it, strengthen it, drill our holes for the 6 by 9s fit them, trim it, job done. And then wire it. So that's next on the list. We'll get this onto wood, um, do a cutout and get that sorted. Um, I've just had a call from the guy with the Z3 as well. Um, we are doing pioneer business too, so congratulations to him for making a wise decision. He's now subscribed, so hello to you. Uh, <laughs> he did some searching for the pioneer unit and found my YouTube channel, so he's, uh, he's now subscribed. And uh, yes, we are working on his baby. Um, right, let's get this done. There's our shelf. Make our wood cut out and we'll go from there. See you in a bit. check out our masterpiece so obviously this is going to be a stealth shelf so we will hide the fact that there are six by nines in this and we're going to trim directly over the top so there's our shelf we've got a little angle on the end cut out for the wiper motor follows around in the curvature of the boot sits against the seat so it's nice and strong nice and firm and then this look at that Hey, so that's going to be completely black. So we're not going to see it from the outside like before. It was very obvious that we're six by nines there. So we are not going to have this. This is going to be trimmed away. Do I 45 that as well? Hmm. Don't want to. Don't want to gap it too much away from the wiper. No. Do you know what? It's enough. All right. Cool. Let's get the speakers fitted. Get it trimmed in black, and then do the speaker wiring. <laughs> Cool, right, in a bit.
right then. So there we go, there's our stove shelf. So obviously we've got the six by nines, which are under it, but from the top, you'd never know. The acoustic cloth will allow the sound to come out of the rear. Shuts, but it just looks like plain Jane. Pretty cool. Right, we just need to wire it up. Job done. Might have an emergency brake job as well to do. Somebody's just phoned me up, said their brake pads have fallen out. What? That's always worrying. <laughs> See you in a bit. <laughs> Right, the little Peugeot is done. Should have a look? You wanna see? Yeah, of course you do. So we've got kickers in the front, obviously in there. And then in the back, we have our stealth shelf. So it looks like a normal shelf from the top. You'd never know there were speakers under there. And then inside, one normal shelf but underneath six by nines running into a plug over there these all work sound good job done no more flappy flappy shelf sounds all right um got my brake pads for tonight gonna get them swapped over for monica we've done her car before um she's jono's mum so we look after him because it's family. Uh, this one's ready, get this picked up. What time is it? Two o'clock, can have some lunch now. Um, got a few hours, got to get Jess, and then go and do some breaks. See you in a bit. <coughs> right, we are back from the rescue mission. Uh, break into a car without damaging it to get baby out, and the keys had locked inside. Um, right, let's have a look at this Beamer. Mm, look at this. So we have a fly amp. A four channel with a suppressor. Um, that looks like a Focal speaker. I could be wrong. Um, but basically what we've got is apparently if we remove this ground loop isolator and play the sounds, it gets real rally car-esque. Like real nice installation. So we're going to remove this. Obviously we're doing a key. Um, he's decided he wants the Pioneer, happy days. And we've got mids and tweeters to go in the front as well. Um, yeah, they do look like Focals. Hmm, okay. My spire wood screw holding up that panel there, that's always nice. Um, where to start, where to start? Let's go for the battery first. Let's disconnect the power from this bad boy so we don't get any shorts. Um, and I'm going to delve into it in a bit, get these cables removed, and I will come back to you in a little second. See you in a bit. Meanwhile. <clears throat> right then, everyone. Here's a little update. Um, so whoever did this car, somebody will recognise it at some point. Shame on you, right? It ain't no good covering everything with electrical tape, trying to make it fancy when your install is shit. This is just fucking garbage. Not only that, they've broke the plastic trim for this quarter trim. But you see where it's all snapped in here. But what they've actually done is they've earthed the amplifier to the plastic clip that's holding in. Like this is not, this is painted and obviously that's plastic on top of paint and it's corroded. You can see the, the white residue of the electrical connection. That's not an earth, all right? The reason why it was buzzing its tits off is because it wasn't grounded properly, you absolute knobheads. Oh. Um, it's it's not Focal, by the way. I got it wrong. It, it, that cover kind of threw me out. It looked a bit like a flax cone. Um, it's in phase. So a fly amplifier, in phase speakers, they're going to go in the bin. We're going to restart this thing from scratch because it's just horse shit. And the more I dig into it, the more I find problems. Like. Instagram installers beware, okay? It may look taped and tidied up, but if your install is horse shit, it's still gonna sound bad and not gonna bump. Terrible. <clears throat> well, I am so glad I told him that we would rewire this thing and pull it all out. What an absolute mess. Um, 
Yeah, proper shit. Uh, no wonder it was causing problems and buzzing its tits off. Even the radio install was garbage. Speaker cable everywhere, run from that side, round the car this way. Tucked under all the trims, not fitted properly. Just a real shit state. And they've wrecked all the uh, the factory plug for the 16-pin uh, the um, round BMW plug. So we're going to have to do some surgery and kind of put all that back together. It's a really nice car, other than some clowns been working on it. Um, but we'll get that sorted and this garbage is now out so we can start afresh um, We've got speakers in the front to do um, I may just put some rear speakers in it because it would be nice to have them anyway We're gonna do the key and then pioneer and at a later stage. We'll do a southern amp But yeah, now it's been debastardized. We can now start putting all the proper stuff in nicely and get rid of all this junk um, funnily enough as well as running um, the speaker cable like a real professional, what they'd actually done was cut down RCA leads. They obviously ran out of speaker cable, but they cut down RCA leads and were running this to and from the amplifier, um, which in itself is just mind-bogglingly stupid. But you know that's not going to carry any decent current for a sound system. Um, but it's all right though because they wrapped it all in tape because it was Instagram worthy, right? <sighs> Don't get me started Right It's 4 4 30. Um, I need to go and pick little and up so we are knocking this on the head I'm gonna do brakes later on on Monica's car. Um, I've got the right pads now. We've been out and checked um, Gonna get the cars in close up for today Come back later on do some more work on this after the brake job um, and then we've got more stuff coming out this week for uh, cars and stuff and yeah, all the other bits and bobs. It's going to be quite a full-on week. Um, let's have a look. Fiat 500, dash cut tomorrow, double din in the single din hole, that's always fun. The day after we've got a transit van for a lot of stuff. Um, we've got a sub and amp to do in a uh, Michael's car. Um, he's bought some big kicker subs, that's going to be fun. Um, and Matt for fitting an Alpine, it might be his own head unit. Um, Sunday day off, back in Monday, Ranger Rover Vogue, key and sub. Kicker on, I think it's a GLA or a GLE. Mercedes having a big, big square sub, kicker, that's going to be awesome. Uh, and then yeah, we're into next week, loads of stuff on Pete's Subaru's coming back in. Um, yeah, it's going to be a fairly busy, busy ass week. I was expecting the lady to call me about this. I've rung her, but I can't get through to her on her phone. Uh, I don't know whether that means she gave me the wrong number by mistake, but this is done. We're just waiting on a collection. So I'm going to pack up shop for today. Um, put my brake and braking tools away. We'll come back to this later on. Um, do some more work on this. But other than that, guys, I will love you and leave you. I will see you bright and early for... Thursday tomorrow? Yes, Thursday tomorrow. Thursday morning um, for our little chat. Um, I, I, did, I did see the comments about starting toolkits and what you should and shouldn't buy. That's a very good suggestion and I will definitely go through that. But all I am gonna say one thing, you don't need any of that, that's for sure. That's not a starting toolkit, right? That's to make my life easier. You can have everything you need in a box like that, a tote, all right? But we will discuss, it's a great suggestion. Um, thank you very much for that input. A super, super suggestion. We will do that. Um, but yes, it does not involve any snap-on equipment. You don't need any of that to start. All right. So we will discuss more at a later stage. For now, I love you and leave you. See you in the morning. Ciao. You told me you had subscribed to ASC Audio, and now you've missed an episode.